Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the data engineering concept. Now we will discuss about what is data warehouse. But before that, what is warehouse first? What is warehouse? Now, if you have ordered a product from Amazon or Flipkart or any e-commerce website, so you must know that they have a warehouse, right? So they will store their product in that particular warehouse and then they will distribute it, right? For example, Amazon, right? I ordered a product on Amazon, okay? So what this Amazon warehouse will do? It will collect all the products from different resources, different sources, different locations to their warehouse. And from this warehouse, they will distribute to various pin location, okay? Pin location, various pin location. For example, I have ordered two products. One from Delhi, one from Mumbai. And I am staying in Chennai. Okay, so what this will happen, one product will come from Delhi, another product will come from Chennai, from Mumbai or different locations, they will collect in the warehouse and based on the delivery agent or pin location, they will distribute the product, right. So this is what simple data warehouse is. Simply we are collecting a product or item we can say from multiple resources and then we are sending it to a respective pin location, right. So this is what the warehouse is. Now, in the terms of data warehouse, you can just consider instead of products as an input, we have a data as an input here, right? For example, I have a data in multiple sources, CSV, JSON, or even SQL, or even no SQL, like unstructured data, right? So, if you observe, we have different types of data. First one is structured data, then we have unstructured data. And we have semi structured data as well. Okay. So, data can be in any form structure, unstructured, or semi structured. But what data warehouse is, what a data warehouse is, DWH, it is used to store the data in the structured format. So, data is stored in the structure format that is what the relational database is. Relational DBMS is right. So we have discussed the relational database in in the previous few lectures, right? So when I say structured data or relational DBMS means it supports SQL. Okay, it supports SQL uh, query language to retrieve a data from a data warehouse. So when I say SQL, it means it supports SQL like syntax, right? SQL like syntax. Okay, now since the data warehouse is used to store a structured data which can be used for multiple purposes, for example, analytical, analytical purpose, or for example, it is used to build AI ML model, right? For example, it is used for other data engineering purpose, right? So, how we can store these different types of uh, data into a data warehouse because it is used to store structured data. So for that we have ETL process. ETL. Now what is this ETL is? E stand for extract. Extract. T stand for transform. L stand for load. Loading. Extract, transform, and loading. So first we are extracting the data from multiple sources like this. Then we are doing some process. We are transforming that data into a required format and then we are loading it into a data warehouse. So this is what the ETL process is. Extract, transform and loading. Okay. So we are going to discuss this in detail in the upcoming lectures. But just understand the full form. As name suggests, E means extract. So, extracting the data from multiple sources. E means transform. We are transforming that data into a required format so that we can load it into a data warehouse. And L is basically loading. So, we are loading that particular transform data into a data warehouse. And once we have stored the data in the data warehouse, we can use that data anytime for our required purpose, required application. Right? I have a structured data in data warehouse then I will I will be using this for required purpose, right? 
So this is what a data warehouse is. Simple concept of ETL is required to understand the concept of data warehouse. Okay. So you can expect the question based on ETL in your gate exam. Simple question also you can expect for one marks based on this. Now if you understand what this architecture is doing, we have a different types of input, then we have some ETL process, then we store the data into a data warehouse which is used to store a structured data and supports SQL like syntax. And then we can use that particular data for various purposes, analytical purpose, AI ML model or data engineering part or for example, a business analytics business intelligence software like Power BI and Tableau, right? We can uh, use the data for that purpose also, right? So this is what the architecture of a data warehouse will look like. And the main important thing is ETL process. Where is ETL processes happening in data warehouse? So this is more important point to note because when I'm going to discuss about a data lake or data lake house, you will become across something like ELT process. Okay, so what is ETL, what is ELD, so don't get confused, but if you understand what ever I have explained in this particular video, then that is enough. And then we have a different uh, types of process in data warehouse. So that is what we are going to discuss in upcoming lectures. Okay, I hope you understand the concept of our data warehouse. Now just to summarize what is data warehousing is, our definition of data warehousing. A data warehouse is a repository of data and metadata. So when I say metadata, it is about data of data or we can say information about a data stored. Now that contains integrated, clean and reconciled data from disparate sources for decision support application with an emphasis on online and analytical processing. So there is some concept of OLAP and OLTP. So this also we are going to discuss in upcoming lectures. Okay. So, so data warehouse is a subject oriented, integrated, time variant and non-volatile collection of data in support of management's decision making process. Okay. So bookish definition of data warehousing, you can just go through it. And what is this subject oriented? What is integrated? What is time variant? What is non-volatile? I have added the explanation of this in the notes. So you can just go through that. So that will be enough for this. Okay. I hope you understand the concept of data warehouse. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss the concept of data lake. Okay. Thank you.